Welcome to the Art of Crafty Alchemist plans. Today I am using the Prima Moonchild collection in my planner. I'm the Art of Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. I just spent the last hour cutting all of this apart. Now some of it I won't be able to use because they are too big. That is absolutely gorgeous. How beautiful is that? That will make a perfect card front. Now all the pages are double sided so if you don't like one side you can always use the other. I'm pretty sure all of these are going to be too big so I'll grab my pages and we'll have a look. All I actually have from the Mood Child collection is this small paper pad and some of the larger papers. Oh, see that would be perfect down there but a lot of these are going to be way too big. So that Explore Ocean's End is on the other side and I do have doubles of these papers so it's okay if I flip that one over because I absolutely love that. That's stunning but all of them are going to be way too big. Just having a quick look. I'm just sorting through and seeing what I like. As I said I absolutely adore that piece but it will take up my whole planner so that's definitely out. That side I can use either side. Both are equally gorgeous. I love the foiling, it has beautiful stars in it. It's going to be hard to choose what to use because I love so many pieces. I need more nose. <laughs> I'm just, oh dear. I have also fussy cut some elements. Oh, that's just a scrap. So I've got a few scraps over here. These were from the top of a page. We've got part of a moon, a butterfly. I fussy cut the butterfly. We have these rings that were on a page that made it hard to cut out into a full shape. So I just cut the rings out and then another ring. These are tops of the pages that could come in useful further down the line for other things maybe. Now this one I've left this one in two but I still have two more pieces of that so I'm just going to throw all of them over there and take away the doubles. There are lots of different sizes of things. Just trying to work out what I like the most. It's very hard because I absolutely adore this collection. I really don't want to cut that piece down. It is stunning. I could cut it across there because those flowers do look like they're upside down. But until I make a definitive choice, it's just going to stay that way. So I'll put my ephemera up there. All these are little bits of ephemera as well. I cut this out of a piece. I think it came out of this piece. And I've fussy cut the moon and one of the butterflies out of this. I love this collection so much. I'm even keeping these tiny little scraps. Well, not that tiny stringy scraps but these tiny little scraps so that I can use them on other things if possible. See I might even cut that piece in half and cut around the semicircle and just have those two pieces because I don't have any of the collectibles, I cuts, ephemera, whatever they call it in Prima that go with all any of this stuff. I just love so much of it though it's going to be so hard. Okay let's see if we can work out what the favourite is. I do like that. Oh, I love that too. See, this is so hard. <laughs> this could turn out to be a very easy week to plan. We have the bigger version of that little one I was just looking at. And if I use any of the bigger versions of anything, I won't be using the smaller versions. So what I might do with this one is I'm going to trim that down so that I don't have so much of a border around it. Possibly no border at all. That gives me a little bit more room now. Then I'm going to grab these ephemera bits that I've cut. Just realised I had two shiny pieces there. Okay, where did I throw those other little pieces? I'm going to grab my scissors and cut around these flowers. I wanted to pull some of these flowers over to the other side. I really like that. So what I'm going to do with all of these pieces is I'm actually going to put them all in a snap lock bag so that when I go to use this kit again I have my own pre-made ephemera, collectibles, die cuts. I have these border strips and 
I want to add them on. I really like that one. That one pulls across some more flowers. Just going to stick this one on. I just line up the one corner and hold it down and then line it up across the edge. I'm going to layer these pieces up on this little piece. As you can see, those two pieces all come from the one piece. This one comes from a bigger sheet. I'm grabbing out this piece from the paper pad. This is useless. It doesn't have the millimetres on it. It doesn't go all the way to the edge. How are you supposed to use it? I just stuck that down. I don't know if the camera stopped before I got that far or not. I'm just going to trim this tiny little bit off at the end. And I'll tape this down. I could layer them up on foam tape, but I've decided not to today. It's hard because I really like both sides of this, but now I'll stick this side down. I just decided I wanted to round the corners of this, so I kind of wrecked my paper underneath. But that's all right. Once I stick this back down, it will be fine. I've rounded that with my Kodamaru punch. Stick my butterfly back down. Yep, oh, it goes that way up. Always good to check these things before we stick it down. I think I'm going to cut around that, stick them down. It's a very simplistic layout this week. And there we go, and I still have all this that I'll be able to use for something else that I've chopped out, ready to go. I think I'm going to be a little extra this week. <laughs> I can't help myself. And I'm going to actually take this off here. I'm I'm gonna say I don't really like these. I bought a bunch of them. I need to actually take the other ones that I haven't opened back to Kmart because I don't like them. <laughs> they just don't work very well for some reason. I'm going to grab my tape and I'm going to cover up the days. Make sure we get them on the right side. This is Monday. Oh, and look at that. We can start at Monday. I'm going to add this washi to every day because I really like the silver days. Now I have my beautiful days of the week down. My months are the wrong colour. When I bought this tape, they only had them in these colours. So it was gold for the months and silver for the days. I think I'll go for circles this week. I'm going to trim off the yucky ones. And if it five of those on there, Let's see how we're looking. One, two, three, four, five. Now on Friday I know I have an outing on and it might be helpful for me to have an extra spot and because I can fit one there I'm going to add it. And there is my layout for this week. Today is Monday and as usual I'm a little behind but that's because I had planned to make a St. Patrick's Day card yesterday but I ended up spending hours looking for one die. It was a cauldron die and I couldn't find it so then when we went to Hope Kitchen I drew the cauldron but then I fell over and I hurt myself and my arm is still pretty sore. I ended up not filming that video after I went to the trouble of drawing the cauldron or pot. I just wanted a cauldron pot type thing for my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I had a plan but best laid plans and all that. Today is Monday and I've done my planner. I've edited. It's bingo night. It's also I need, want to do some washing social and finish putting stamps away. I've already done half. A huge pile on my table and they've been on my dining room floor because I have spread them all out and put them into piles but at the same time as I'm putting them into piles I am sorting my folders out so that they're not as fat as they were. They were overflowing so I've taken some categories out of folders. Now there is a pretty big video I want to film but I'm not sure if I will do it tomorrow. I will see. So I'm going to just put film here and film here. I'm hoping we'll see. I did plan to do a live last Saturday but it didn't happen because Miss Assistant was sick and she was coughing too much so we decided not to do the live. So I will put that back on there. I am really itching to try these paints out. It's killing me that I haven't been able to open them yet. 
but I really want to open these in the live stream on my other channel so we'll see how that goes we'll put it there and hopefully we get to that more edit always social going to mum's tomorrow uh, on Wednesday and that involves shopping store maybe the art shop we'll see and then I'm just going to leave that when I get home we'll see what I feel like doing sometimes I don't feel like doing anything sometimes I just watch YouTube and chill out that's okay we're all allowed a day off aren't we <laughs> Thursday is film edit it's not set in stone I have more hauls that I can film if I don't feel like filming anything I have a couple more hauls that I still need to film but then we'll go social because I do that every day now Friday I need to lesson prep and I'm teaching the leg lesson again. I may have craft, but it's supposed to be raining, so it will depend on if my friend is going. If my friend is not going, I'm not going to walk over in the rain. Always put edit on every day. That way, hopefully, I get the editing done that I need to. So I have two filming sessions, hopefully planned. We will see, they are not set in stone. I may get my Hedgehog Hollow box this week. It didn't come today, so it might come in the next few days. We will see. Sunday is also hope till the end of this month there is actually a big video that i want to film so i might put video prep in because the one that i want to film is quite involved and i need some details now extra things that i want to do this week just trying to think i have written this down but i didn't always need to do market prep i do say that i'm going to do one day of market prep a week but then i fill everything up it might go here when I get back from this. See how drained I am. I've left social off every day. Wednesday. Over here, I'm going to live 11 a.m. for a planner lady that I follow. And she has a live that day. And I really like to watch her lives. I missed the last one because I didn't write it down. I'm actually going to be home for that one so I need to remember that's on I might actually even write that in my diary well, I hope I'm home for that one who knows I did clean my lounge room it keeps getting put back on the list because I do I did clean up most of it the other day but then I started doing market prep and filming videos and everything went to hell in a high-end basket again so I need to do the lounge room again I just can't think what else hopefully on the days where I don't have a lot on I can add some extra stuff in we'll see how it goes I don't always get to everything it's purely dependent on what's going on around me at the time that is my planner layout this week I hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out if you like this collection it's one of my favorite collections and I wish I had more but budget wise I did well to get what I got so I'm happy with that I'm happy to have it it is absolutely stunning I love the foiling I love how a lot of Prima's 12 by 12 papers now come with the foiling on them I just realized I do want something else I'm just seeing if I can find something else that I can add I added visit the Milky Way up there I thought it looked just a little bare up there so it needed a little something extra I could have either added a strip across the middle or just found some words so I found the visit the Milky Way in one of the other pieces of paper and then I saw found it just there good job I <laughs> just cut an extra piece of paper to find that <laughs> anyway thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time bye for now